we are getting a lot of questions and comments, many through social media, uh, regarding the county alert system and specifically the data that goes into those calculations. We'll try to provide a little bit more information with regard to that data and, and, uh, and the issues involved in that. Uh, it seems that everyone wants to perform those calculations themselves. Um, the calculations are not that difficult. The, 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 these are subtraction, multiplication, uh, very simple calculations. It's the data that goes into these calculations that are critical to the, to the results. Uh, what makes it complicated is the flow and the timing and the date of the reports we get. Uh, first, we use new cases per day in calculation of the rolling incidence rates, whether that's a seven day or a 14 day. Uh, we are conducting approximately 4,000 to 6,000 tests on average a day. Uh, yesterday, for example, was 5,820 tests. Those results come into the local health department and to the State Bureau of Public Health throughout the day from, from a large number of labs across the, the country and, and in the state. Uh, each time a lab result comes in uh, by the various labs, the positive results in, in those, uh, from those labs change the calculation. So uh, to make this a little more complicated, those results, as you know, are delayed many times by days. So uh, we're trying to speed that process up. We, we've signed on three new labs in the last week. So we're trying to expand laboratory capacity and make sure that we get a quicker turnaround time. Uh, our cutoff for the numbers is midnight the evening before. Uh, the calculation is, is, is completed and uploaded with the uh, updates at 10 a.m. on the dashboard. Um, but the other critical part of that calculation is pulling out patients and inmates, patients from nursing homes and inmates from prisons. Uh, those numbers are excluded because they do not contribute to community spread. There's a part of the congregate spread. So that is being done manually. And I wanna, uh, as always, thank the guard for their support. Uh, General Hoyer has um, placed additional folks into the Bureau of Public Health to, to assist in that process. Uh, so as we discussed, pulling those out of the calculation, um, looking at what those numbers are at midnight is, what, is where, we, uh, where we end up with regard to the numbers we use for the calculation. Um, to, to add to that one final point in terms of, the, of pulling out nursing home patients and inmates, those aren't on the lab reports that we get in. There's no information with regard to the lab report that says this is a patient in a nursing home or this is an inmate in a facility. So that has to be done manually. And again, that's where uh, the guard has, has been assisting us in that process. Those investigations are completed multiple times during the day and sometimes take longer than one day. So we're trying to speed up getting that information in terms of what we pull out of that calculation. Uh, we are looking at, at how quickly we can automate this. It's not automated at this time, uh, but it is a process that we're, we're learning as, uh, as we move through this, how to improve it and how to make it better. So I hope that that helps. The, the data that is used to make the calculations is, is not available to the public or, or folks in, throughout the state to actually replicate that calculation exactly. To try to assist with that, we, we keep saying we're going to be transparent and, and we are, we're going to provide more of that information on the dashboard, either through a drop down or through a table, including the population data that is used, which is uh, 2019, July 2019 census uh, estimates. Uh, and we'll provide, we'll, we'll provide a sample calculation so folks can see how that is done. We wanna make sure everyone understands this and how it works. Um, but it is a snapshot in time, much like our testing is a snapshot in time from that standpoint. Uh, so we will, uh, we will try to update this. We'll try to be transparent and put more information on the website. I know there's some frustration out there at not being able to replicate what we're doing. That is, that is impossible to do without the exact data at midnight that's used to compile to put in the calculation. There will be errors. I wanna make sure everyone understands. Part of this is a manual system. So it's very difficult to have a manual system that does not ultimately result in an error somewhere. When that happens, we will let you know, we will notify it and notify of you if it's a serious error. We've already made a couple of corrections in counties where we've been notified that the information is, is incorrect. 
we go back and look at those counties and pull that data out and make sure it's correct. And again, we appreciate that. We need that cooperation from the local health departments and others to try to make this work uh, seamlessly. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you.